Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. So today's video, as you can see from the title, is a Poundland haul. I actually think it has been so long since I've done a Poundland haul, maybe like a couple of months. I did actually mention some items that I got from Poundland in a vlog, I think around Valentine's Day, but I haven't actually done like a dedicated Poundland haul for a while. So I thought I would pop in there. I actually needed to get a few bits for Callum's birthday that is coming up and also Mother's Day. So I have got a big old Poundland haul. I spent like, I think it was 35 pound in Poundland. So we have got a big old haul today. If you do enjoy this video, don't forget to click the like button. Also subscribe to my channel if you are new. If you are new here, hi, welcome. My name's Sophie and I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday. And I do a lot of hauls, homeware, vlogs, all of that kind of stuff. So if you do enjoy it, don't forget to subscribe. That is my phone. As I was saying, don't forget to subscribe if you do enjoy it. I'm gonna get on with this video and I really hope you like it. So I'm actually gonna start with the stuff that I got for Callum's birthday. His birthday is actually this week coming up. Um, I think it's on Friday and today is Saturday. So it's less than a week. And I have already got him a main present, which I he already knows about. I've told you guys this in a vlog. I literally couldn't keep it a secret. I can't keep anything secret from him. But I have managed to keep this one a secret. It's literally just a little hamper that I'm doing for him, full of chocolate, because as you guys probably know, Callum is obsessed with chocolate. So I'm doing him like a little hamper of chocolate and sweets. And in Poundland, they actually do have little hamper sets which I did last year for Mother's Day and I'm doing it again this year. So these are the little hampers that you can get in Poundland. Obviously they're just a pound. Um, if anything is more than a pound I'll pop it in the description box below because I feel like there were a few a couple of items that were more than a pound but these were a pound. Um, they're just little wicker baskets which i think are really really cute and i love to do little hampers for people i think they're such a like sentimental gift because you have to put quite a bit of thought into them which i really really like and i just think that they look really cute as well so yeah i really like these baskets they're good quality for a pound actually i was really impressed with the ones that i actually made last year for my mum for mother's day and i thought i'd do it again so i've picked up two one for mother's day again and one for callum so next things that I picked up, this is probably what made my haul so expensive, were all these chocolates and sweets. I've basically picked up all of Callum's favourite sweets and chocolate, as I said, to put into a hamper for him, which I'm really, really excited to do because I know that he's really going to love it. And although it's something small, it's something that I know he's going to really love on his birthday. And it's something that he doesn't know about, which... I'm happy about. So I literally picked up some Freddos. I really like Freddos myself actually, but Callum is obsessed with them. He really likes Cadbury's. So I picked him up some Freddos. I picked him up some dairy milk and also some caramel because he loves caramel too. Um, I've also picked up some 12 bites and some squashies. Um, some Haribo strawberries and some Vimto mini pencils because he really loves those too. So yeah, I'm going to put this all into a little hamper and I just really hope he likes it. I then got for the hampers, these little hamper sets. These are so cute. And again, I actually bought these last year in Poundland. But the only difference is the bow was pink last year. Um... And I'm actually kind of glad that it's yellow because it means that it will match for Callum as well because I don't really want to give him a pink bow, do you know what I mean? I mean, I would if I had to, but um, I'm really glad that it's yellow. I think they've made it more Eastery this year. So I picked up two of these and these are just so good. They come with like a silicone, um, is it called like a silicone film or something that you put over the hamper and it also comes with the bow and it's so easy to like assemble and it makes like a really pretty little hamper set which I just think is great. And for a pound, literally you cannot go wrong. So two pound to make a hamper, obviously you buy the stuff to go in it. But I just think that that's great. Next thing that I picked up were some cotton pads. If you guys have seen my Poundland hauls before, then you'll know that I pick up my cotton pads from Poundland every single time. I used to always pick them up from Primark, but since they changed their... They change something in their cotton pads and I really don't like them anymore. So I like to pick them up from Poundland. They're just makeup accessories. 
um these are just really nice because they're really soft on the skin and they don't have like that flakiness that the primark ones do now i don't know if i'm making sense but i feel like i'm making sense in my own brain <laughs> But I really, really like these and I was running out so I really needed them to take my makeup off with my cellar water. Next thing I then picked up was again for Callum but he actually knows about this because it's something that he's going to use now and it's just this King in a Million spray. Basically Callum doesn't like to use expensive aftershave for work which is understandable because it's literally just work but he really likes to still smell nice and this is a dupe of the One Million spray. Honestly it smells so similar. Obviously it's not exactly the same but it does smell really similar and I actually just think that this is a bargain for a pound they do have dupes in places like savers and that but they are a bit more expensive than a pound I think they're about six pound seven pound so for a pound it's great and Callum just uses this all the time for work next thing I then picked up was some hand wash so we've run out of hand wash in our bathroom so I thought I'd pick up this one this is just a Dove caring hand wash in sheer butter with warm vanilla this just sounded so lovely and i really like the smell of vanilla I like all of my creamy scents as you guys know so i picked up this one for the bathroom they did have like bigger hand washes this one in comparison is quite small but because it's dove and because it was a really nice scent i was like i'm just gonna get it I then picked up something for my mum's Mother's Day hamper and I just bought her some shower cream. This is a Nivea shower cream and it's in rose with almond oil and it just sounded so lovely and right up my mum's street. She really likes her floral scents. This smells so lovely, like so lovely. So I'm really happy with this and I think it's just a really nice little gift to put in a hamper. Just like self-care bits, I think that that's really nice. I then picked up something else that's Nivea and it's a bath cream. I'm just obsessed with bath creams and like bath, like bubble baths. I just can't get enough of them at the moment. And anything with relax on it, I am just all about. I'm so obsessed with like sleep stuff, lavender. Lavender is my new obsession, everybody. I just don't know what happened. I did a complete 360 and I used to hate it and now I love it. So I picked up this because I get through bubble bath so quickly. I use it in literally every single bath I have. So I picked up this one because it sounded really nice. It says nourishing bath cream with mallow extract and hibiscus scent. And honestly, this smells so nice. It just smells so relaxing. That is just what I need in a bath. Next thing I then picked up is for my mum's Mother's Day hamper. I saw these cups and I thought, that's so cool. My mum's quite quirky with her stuff. So I thought that she'd really like this. It's just a teacup and a saucer. I thought it was just really sweet. And she might not like it, but I just think it's really cute. And it'll be really nice for like spring and summer. And I just thought it was a really lovely little gift to put in a hamper. I feel like this was a pound. I'm not sure though, because if that was a pound, that is so good for a pound. Okay, I lied. The um, teacup and saucer was three pounds. I actually picked up quite a lot of stuff that was over a pound. Another gift for the hamper, and also for myself, I picked up two of these, are these Land of Nod bath bars. They're in relaxing and calming lavender. As I said, I am obsessed with anything to do with sleep, relaxing, calm cozy anything like that so i picked up these i thought that they are going to be really really nice so obviously one for my mum one for me and i'm really really excited to use this it just says obviously you just break a bit off and then put it into warm water and it makes the bath all lavendery and sleepy so yeah i really like this and poundland actually do have a range of this at the moment so they have loads of different things in there they've got these they've got um something else that i'll show you in a moment they also have sleep sprays which i've seen but they didn't have any in my local poundland otherwise i would have definitely put them up they also had some like i think they were like body butters or like clay masks or something that was in this range so everything looked really really lovely and i am just a sucker for anything to do with sleep i then also picked up in the um, land of nod range this essential oil i really love essential oils and i don't actually have any so i thought i would pick this up because you're meant to put before you go to sleep essential oils in your like are they your pressure points 
like your temples and your wrists and all of those places and it help it's meant to help you sleep so this again is in calming relaxing and calming lavender to aid a good night's sleep and it just says to shake well with cap on remove cap apply directly onto the skin so I'm really looking forward to trying this. I'm going to try it tonight when I go to sleep. I already have like sleep sprays and everything. Honestly, if you walked into my bedroom and you would just smell lavender when I'm going to bed. I then picked up a variety of pens. I always get my pens from Poundland because I just think they are so pretty. And the two that I have from Poundland, I've run out of ink. So I picked up two more. Um, so these are the ones that I pick up. This one just has like a little diamond on the end and the other one just has some sparkles inside of it, which I think is really sweet. So obviously these are only a pound each. And then I picked up my mum for her hamper, the same one as me that I normally have, which is just this one with a gem on the end. And I just think that they're really lovely and I love rose gold. It's just such a beautiful colour. So I am really happy with these. I then picked up some trusty pink stuff because I have nearly run out and this is my best friend. Everybody, just like to introduce you, if you haven't tried it before, to the pink stuff. I'm sure that everyone watching this video has most likely tried this. I just absolutely love it. I feel like it does the job for anything. So I picked some more up because I was in need. I then picked up this little gift bag because it is my nan's birthday this week as well. I have literally had the most expensive month ever. My nan's birthday Callum's and Mother's Day. But yeah, this is a really cute little baby pink gift bag. I thought that this would be so lovely to put my nan's presents in for her birthday. And it just has some rose gold tags and this one just says just for you which i thought was really sweet and i think that my nan's really gonna love this i mean it's just packaging but you know every little detail makes a present so i picked her up this because i think it's really really cute i then picked up some more anti back so hand sanitizer i already have this one but i've nearly run out because i use it so much i use it at work like you just have to in this current day and age so i picked up some more and i really really love this one it is the carex and it's fun edition it's the love hearts one this smells so nice it smells like love heart sweets it is just so good i just really really love this one so i wanted to pick up some more and yeah they've got loads of hand sanitizers does anyone remember that time last year when literally you went into Poundland and there was no hand sanitizer. Like obviously when Corona first arrived and introduced itself to us, um, there was no hand sanitizer anywhere. Those were not good times. So yeah, managed to get my hands on this. And then the last item that I picked up in this haul is a new bathroom air freshener. This one is in Vanilla and Magnolia. I really like the Febreze air fresheners for the bathroom. We've currently got one in there, but it's Spiced Apple. And I think it's from like the start of January. It's lasted so long. These are just great. They last, it says up to 45 days. This one's a limited edition one. I think they've only just brought it out. Um, and I really like the smell of vanilla, as I've mentioned, but also Magnolia sounds really lovely. So it's like a really spring floral scent. And I think it's gonna be great for spring. So that is the end of today's video, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to click the like button. Also subscribe to my channel if you are new. I really hope you guys have had an amazing week so far, an amazing week ahead, and I will see you in the next video on Sunday. Bye.